Hello and welcome back to what the fucking thing. Hello and welcome back to today's episode of the Filthy Twenty. With me today, I, I shut the fuck up, right? I have uh, Jackson Hayes, aka Mark, Fergus, aka Root. What? What? And Gr Alexander Gaming, aka Entrix. Hello there. Alright. Well, unfortunately, Crow will not be making it to any more sessions due to personal reasons, and therefore I shall be autopiloting him from now on. But today is more than likely the last time that you will see him. On a separate note, I will be giving uh, a little flashback to last week's game for those that weren't here, and also rejog your memories. Last week, the Celeste had yet some more random antics, as her innocent yet naive mind was still trying to adapt to civilization, as it almost seemed like she was quite amnesiac, or some form of memory loss spell was put upon her. Meanwhile, within the church's graveyard, Jackson Hayes wiped his sweaty brow as he dug the grave of what can be seen as a noble woman, perhaps? as his patron began to dictate what he should do. He had to desecrate the corpse and he was doing this action also learnt of who the Mistwalker was. By doing so, he also found a way to kill it and realized that the Mistwalker was nothing more than a manifestation of souls that had been damned. That being said, there was an origin to said soul, which was depicted within the Mistwalker's weapon, a large butcher knife. After finding the grave of said butcher, the Mistwalker attempted to attack him, but given his quick instinct and wits, he was able to defeat it without getting his ass knocked the fuck out. Yeah, I and now, got it once. you're not dead, be grateful. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what it is, but I am. Uh, on I, now. I got nosebleed damage. We're not gonna talk Intense about the nosebleed nose damage. <laughs> Intense nosebleed damage, might I add? Today we'll continue it it. to this session where hopefully it will be less antic filled and more roleplay filled. Moving on. Jackson Hayes, you walk back. The mist is slowly subsiding. The rest of you inside the house. You can see Celeste seems to be looking around slightly a bit more. There's this form of grimace on her face as she speaks something. This time not in Celeste. Uh, do any of you know... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Da -da -da. Underdark. So... Da -da -da. Undercommon, rather. to do something so i'm gonna i do not oh. i know comment. you're not there at the moment so regardless you're oh, kind of like know. walking up this so, like will i still be walking to the tavern at this point yeah i think i had made it that you made it there but i kind of wanted to retcon it and insert the tiny scene yeah that's fine uh rude do you know under common under common? Yes. Yes. Um, I only know common and elvish. So that's a no. She basically just sounds like she's grumbling under her breath, although it's an actual language. And she's uh, under common, right? Yes. No shit. Alright. What the fuck was that sound a few seconds ago? And anyway, moving on. F <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. You just said it sounded like grumbling. Uh, just more like got that kind of thing. Right. So you kind of see, right. and you just see now that. Um, can both Root and John give me a perception check, please? Sure. Gotcha. Hiya, Gazaima. Fan. Oh, hiya, Gazaima, What is this weep shit? I got uh, 16. 16. I have perception. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, sorry, 15. I got a filthy 15. 20. Filthy 20. Thank mm -hmm. you. All right. Hey, 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 hey. Language. Also, fuck your fan. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. language. 
Welcome to the edgy teen podcast. Um, <laughs> so edgy. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, it just turns into a just chatting podcast. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time I've done that, but anyway. Um, <laughs> I know, I was. Moving perfect. on, back to the fucking game. Fuck's sake. I know we don't have yours, but fuck it. We're doing it anyway. You're just there for a moment and you begin climbing up. The rest of you, with your perception checks, you kind of see like she seems to be itching at her arms slightly as she's looking out the window. At this point, the rest of you can now also see that there's what seems to be a fire burning outside. Incognito, whistling is incognito. Do any of you, like, check what it is? Yeah, I go check. You stick your head out the window, and you look at the general direction of the church. There's okay. a fire. In the graveyard. And the casually Wait. walking Jackson Hayes. No, 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 no. Well, isn't the church a bit far away in order? It's days? like 300 feet-ish, but your silhouette and your armor is kind of a dead giveaway of who you are. <laughs> what armor, Max? You do not have armor. Oh wait, no, you don't. Fuck me, never me. mind. Um, okay, so you're just okay, seeing this like random okay, person walking. With, with like tattered robes, there's a butcher knife in his fucking... Oh, sorry, a cleaver in his hand. Oh yeah, you did pick up the cleaver. Yes, I did. So, the, yeah, the, you just the, think the it's the mist walker or some shit. Huh. I turn around to Fergus. Um, right back. I jump out the window. Athletics check with disadvantage because you're two stories up. Would it be acrobatics? <laughs> sure, yeah, one yeah. of the two, regardless of disadvantage. So as I jump out, I just grab onto the ledge and just carefully jump, oh, climb down. You specified, and I quote, I jump out the window. Give yeah. me an acrobatics <laughs> and an athletics yeah. check with disadvantage. Uh, fuck, Lois is an 18. And you don't make the check. You're just there, Fuck. you jump out Superman style, and you realize is gravity is a thing. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Can I, like, use my halberd to, like, grab onto the building? Slight of hand like check the... with disadvantage. Okay. Uh, sure. Fuck. What? I caught two 14s. Two fucking 14s. You got two uh, 14s. That's a 16. That's a 16. You got a... Yeah, that's not fucking enough, regardless. You just, you try, you're like, wait, wait, fa, and you just try to stick your fucking halberd into the side of the building. It gets stuck in a cranny. I'm gonna roll for something. Wait, can I, is this a string check to hold on to the halberd? Oh, no, I no, think the halberd's no, no. gonna break. Yeah? You just, out of nowhere, you just hear, as your halberd just splits in half, and you're just like, fa, and you I keep falling. And you just land ass first into the horse Wait, trough. Wait, which part of the halberd do I still have in my hand? The hilt. <laughs> the hilt. So now it's a makeshift... It's a stick. It's a, makeshift it's a fucking blood. stick. No, it's not even. It's a makeshift mace because of the blood bit at the end. It's a pointy stick. Does it, Max, does he land right in front of me? He, like, at this point, you're like 80 feet away from the tavern and you just see it like somebody jump out the window. Um, tries to stick an object into the side of the building. You hear the sound of cracking, and then followed by a large splash. Uh, you can, can a you may, I'll see. allow it. Ah, uh, sheesh. That's Not you, that's just... A 15, Max. I'll say you have to get a tiny bit closer to recognize him, but you're like... What the fuck did I just... Oh, what? You're just like, what the fucking? Yeah. Like, I know it's coming from the tavern where they're staying, so. Yeah. Like, I keep walking a little bit closer. At this point, the rest of you, you can kind of see that Crow seems to have something on his mind as he's packing up his items. Like, hey, the doctor and Fergus, cough, cough. Hey, bro, what you doing? 
As far as I know, Fergus isn't a cockney <laughs> cunt, but okay, we're going for this now. <laughs> my life. The guy just had literally a, a, a nose big strong enough to like shoot him away. I really doubt that he can. Oh wait, well, that's, wait, 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 then I'll rephrase it. Like, he'd probably be holding his nose, so, trying not to bleed anymore, so... Hey, bro, what, what's going on? Oh, I can actually hear you speaking from your goddamn nose. <laughs> I am. <laughs> it is actually really annoying, but go ahead. He just looks at you slightly. What are you packing there? And he just kind of sounds ex like this face of... The, not exactly the stain. He has something really, really heavily weighing on his mind as he's like oh, packing up all his weapons and other things. He's slinging the bow across his bag and he has like a small canvas bag to the side with the rest of his items. I believe it's time that I take my leave. You have what you need to stop this ban, but I won't have another chance to see my family. It's time that I go and check. If it's possible that I could stop the onslaught, that will happen. I see. He kind of looks over to the doctor and kind of like looks back to you. Try and take care of a doc. As for the others, if they ask for me, let's just say. I'll tell them that you fucked off. They have something to knock him out. Is that a possibility? He kind of, the doctor just said, kind of like, I have a rock. Hey! Uh, oh, come on, okay, guys. um, regardless, if the others ask for me, you feel free to tell them what you wish. It was an honor to serve with you and with the others, but time is of the essence. At that point, he just kind of lifts his bag and he starts heading uh, downstairs. Meanwhile, outside! Jackson Hayes, you are now. Yeah, you're just like at the horse trough questioning your life choices. It's like. Roll for existential crisis. No, no, good. This is what he'll be like. He's just gonna fucking turn something around at me. Put me square in the face. I'm not dealing with this shit, the shit at the moment. Nope, nope, nope. As I. As he goes to open the door. You find that it's locked. The doctor left it open. Did it he? was downstairs. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, fuck. Uh, I'll say that he told the barmaiden to kind of like open it up for you since I just made the scene with him upstairs. Um, the barmaiden kind of like looks at you, sees the butcher knife. Give me an intimidation check. <laughs> with oh, advantage. Wow. No, Max. No, no, no. You have advantage. No, no that's Max. the thing. He wants disadvantage. <laughs> Max, no, please, no. <laughs> Shut up and give me an intimidation check. Oh, wait, no, that's another character. Never mind. I, I impose blood. disadvantage. Uh, no, because you're kind of out of sight, out of mind. Okay, can I get up and go back inside? You get up, give me a... Give me just a flat dexterity check to pull yourself out the horse trough. <laughs> I got a 14. <laughs> you, at that point, you just like... <laughs> Splash! Your ass is firmly stuck inside this. How is it uh, firmly stuck? Because you're fucking thick. Deal with it. Um, I landed face first. No, yeah. Wait, did you? No, I. Yes, can't... that's oh, how it. it works. Fine, you landed. Fa fine, you hit this. Oh god, you're waterboarding yourself. Oh, oh no. Oh god. In what? In dirt? In the horse trough. Uh, moving on, like you kind of that like. That would be a strength check for anything. You're kind of like there. You have the whatever remains of your pole arm, and you're just like pushing yourself up, and you're like, fuck, and your arms just slide in the mud, that is now recently formed due to your splashing. Oh, so how much did you get on that intimidation check? Uh, Twelve. <laughs> oh no. Twelve. Um, oh, okay. Okay. oh no. She recognizes it's you. She looks at the blade. Back to you. Back to the blade. Back to you. Before you scream, Bar Maiden, the Miss Walker is no more. This is proof that he is gone. Uh, but I. She kind of like begins stuttering very rapidly, and she doesn't really know what to make of this entire situation. She begins 
trying to like look around and she sees the fire in the distance what did you what what did you do i killed the source of the uh, miss walker's powers i i i had a fucking grave thrown at me please don't question me anymore she kind of like unlocks the door and lets you in and she looks outside if you wanted a bot, we could have offered you one. That's part of our service. Is she telling that to me? Yes. Okay. If you What's know, sir, I'm stuck in the fucking dirt. Do what? I see Crow coming down the stairs? Any At this point, he's actually already fucked off during the whole door lock scene. Wait, hold on, hold on. How are you? Shut Help! the fuck up. Help! <laughs> Max, oh, I, have one question. I have one question. Yeah. There's one door how he can fuck off through, and that's a locked door. Mm, there oh. are two doors. There is the back way. I swear to God, Jackson, if you leave, I'm gonna. I am going to ass. give you suffocating damage if you don't shut the fuck up. <laughs> okay, Max, I turn around, go to the horse road. Strength check to pull, uh, pull him out. Sure, please get a 20. Oh god, he gets a natural one, he gets stuck with me! Oh god, no! no that's, it's that's... a 20. It's a 50. Oh fuck, uh, it, it had to be a nat, god damn it, alright. Um, Wait, did... I can reroll one? No, 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 it's fine, it's what fine. What do you mean you can reroll? He burns his fucking inspiration I have, specifically. I have, I have inspiration that I haven't used for a long time. It's I'm fine, you it. don't have to, fuck off. Inspiration carries over, okay then. Uh, Max, you have inspiration I, at the beginning of the session. I actually re rolled. Guess what it was? This is a nat 20. Yeah, it's a nat 20. Somebody prepared to clip this. You just move up behind him. You just rip the horse throw from the ground. His head is still in it, and you just walk casually with him under your arm. His head is still in the horse trough. The barmaiden just looks at you. Wait, wait, Max, Max, oh. Max. I hit Jackson with the shield. You can't see. I mean, he I, could. You picked me up! Wild flailing. <laughs> You're just like wild flailing. <laughs> yep, sure. Give me an attack roll. Sure, do I add my god? No, it's modifier. fucking not with a modifier, you're just like, ah, who the fucking touch me? It's like the whole seaweed touching That's your foot situation. It's fucking bad because it's a natural 20. You proceed to hit Jackson <laughs> Hayes square in the chest. Give me another strength check. Yeah. Not you, him. Oh god, I love my fucking. Um, as a reaction. Wait, I I love my fucking metal Max, dice. As right a now. reaction, I... yeah. I'm 20, pissed at the moment. 23. I'm holding him in my right arm, aren't I? Yep. I use the right of flame. <sighs> okay, Max, you do Max, so, hold yes. On, hold on, 23. I need to see what happens before you can actually use right of flame. You no, already this... did your action to hit him with the shield. Yeah. It's his turn. Yeah, you said, the roll, you said to roll for a strength check. No, I told yeah, him that. Oh, okay. I am pissed at the moment. I'm not dealing with anybody's shit. I'm doing right on pain. You do so. Uh, how much damage does it take? Um. Oh fuck! Wait. I have to factor in something, guys. Basic flame damage. The water on your face becomes extraordinarily warm as well. <laughs> the water or the shit on his face? Huh? Why is the water getting warm? Why is it still warm? <laughs> it's Why? getting warm, Hunter. The, the barmaiden, the barmaiden <laughs> just kind of like moves up and she just like yanks off the horse trough of your face. Oh, finally. You're still gonna take some fire damage though. I, I look at Hayes, I just like look at Hayes like, yeah, one job, one job. Wait, Max, can we do a perception check to see that he's all fucking fire? Sure, give me a perception check, as your lower regions are now on fire. 
Why are my lower regions? Because it's like has you around the waist. That's what you're questioning. He dropped me. No, I didn't. Oh, That's the thing. He, you hit him. He's just like, no. Is he gonna roll for damage? Yeah, I need to see if he realizes he's on fire first. <laughs> roll for intelligence. <laughs> roll perception or I don't fucking what the fuck. I guess it's an intelligence check to see Intelligence, if I yeah, sure. Fire. Flat intelligence. I mean, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure it would be an intelligence check to be actually like, hmm, something, my lower okay, yeah, is burning and something's okay, Yeah, like I realize I'm on fire and How as much? I just like dump, I got a 10. No, that's not enough. What? You're just there. You're smoking. And what? The, what? the barmaid is just looking like. Wait, wait, Max, can we make it a bit more interesting? He's wearing metal armor, isn't he? You can't no, melt his armor. armor. Yes. No, it just make it there, extremely yeah. hot. You feel like you're in a I sauna. I still have certain pieces of cloth on me, though, so that can't catch on fire. Yeah, I'm not going to be okay. that much of a cunt. Like, at this point, it just <laughs> yeah, feels why? like you're a... Uh... How do I put this in... I pet, I pet the fire off. Just like pat there, down. there is no fire, you just suddenly feel like your chest slash stomach is put in a microwave. Ouch. Rule for can- no, 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 <laughs> not making that joke, not making that joke Roll on stream. for radiation! <laughs> this isn't Fallout RPG, fuck off. Um, hey! Moving on. I Roll for cancer! It. Ruffle. As he ter turns it off, I'm guessing I'm still walking with the fucking Rayman in my hands. Ah, uh, yes, um, you as much, yes. Wait, what? How walking. long am I gonna stay in your hands? So you arms. specify you wanna fucking get out? I've been saying that for the past to five him? minutes! To both of you! Okay, as we walk into the tavern. bar, uh, the tavern, Max... Strength, uh, strength throw to actually throw. That's Raven. a dex. With disadvantage. Dex? Yep, with disadvantage because I'm resisting. I'm resisting. I'm Stop resist. <laughs> no, no, don't do that joke on Twitch. I don't think. Oh it's no, a good idea. we've been banned. It's a. It's one thousand nineteen. I just like. I just. I do. Okay, a, I do a, sixteen. Can I do a strength check <laughs> to like? Push out, pull myself out of his arms or uh, whatever. You can give me a dexterity check to see if you land with style. Sure? Shut up, Chinese food! Shut up! You hey! And leave my dog alone! Acrobatics check or just a dex? Tuffy! Uh, just flat Tuffy. dex. Flat. It's 15 enough. You just land there, you kind of like... It's not the most stylistic landing in existence. You kind of just like... Whoa, whoa, okay, I'm fine, kind of thing. Um, also, uh, gentlemen, I believe your, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Elven friend has, uh, left the premises. I had an elven friend? <laughs> All right. He's a half-elf, technically. I look at her. What do you mean? Uh, am I there or am I still I, upstairs? Whilst you were knocking, he basically asked me if the back door was... Uh, unlocked from the inside. I uh, told him how it worked and he said that he had to leave on an emergency. Um, I, pr I proceed to run upstairs. You run upstairs, the doctor is there with Celeste who is now kind of like curled up on the ground. Doc, what happened here? What is there to happen? Why did Crow boy. leave? He decided to Max. go back home to see his family. Max. Yes. Where am I at this moment? Am I still upstairs or did I meet up with everyone? I assume you're upstairs, yeah. So you're just like there kind of like trying to console Celeste. Oh, okay. Do I get a nose pain? <laughs> Actually, no. No, don't ask the question. <laughs> I mean, if you literally want to strip her naked and fuck no! her, whatever. <laughs> Are you think that's a good? Do you really think that's a good idea? I think do she would kill me. You honestly think it's a good? Do you think I'm, she would kill you, or do you I think mean, Raymane would beat you to senseless? I mean, if she consents, I'm okay with it. She barely knows what that word means. Exactly. Uh, uh, okay, Raymane, teach me how to speak to her. God. No. Do you <laughs> see the consent? Yes. 
I would okay. say okay. since uh, the adrenaline is calming down in uh, Jackson Hayes, mm -hmm. does he need to do a constitution saving I'll take charisma check to see if he gets angry. Um, I'm saying uh, constitution because would he start feeling the chest of being fucking squarely hidden in the chest by a fucking tombstone at high velocity? Not yet. Okay, so Max, angry. do I see do I see uh, Hayes? You just see this and you hear like what happened. Yeah, I might say you be able to like eavesdrop kind of thing. Charisma. Yes. Let's see if I get angry, I got a fourteen. You kind of like he, he, he what kind of thing? Nani? You're not really uh, sure okay. why, what to make of this. You semi pissed off by a by. Like everything that's occurred. So it's basically a bunch of shit happening at the like, same time is kind of catching up to him. And he's yeah. getting really, really freaked out. So Is Grayman behind me at the moment? Grayman's like kind of like climbing up the stairs at this point. You've heard all of this. I've heard all of this? Yes. Okay. Can I roll a perception to see if he's up the stairs now? No, you don't even need to really kind of like turn your head and you see him like pull up, pull up, pull up. Going up the stairs, salty. Max, I'm gonna roll for strength to, Rip the to door. grab Greymane. No, grab Greymane from the, from the chest and pin him to the wall. Kinky, but sure. Can uh, I react to this? No, because you are not expecting it, and you do not have the feet. So I, I have alert. Isn't alert from something that basically you know is going to attack you? I can never. You can you never can be surprised. You can't be surprised what you're. This isn't a surprise. Surprise. That still counts. No, no, you, you can't you're... be surprised when you're expecting it. If your guard is up, your guard is not up. You're just like you there, wrinkling your clothes. Other creatures don't gain give advantage on attack rolls against as a result of being unseen by you. Okay, I so know it's you're just there. flat. I know. You're... I know you're there, so therefore, if you're gonna come towards me, I know you're gonna come towards me. Okay, it still was a 22 it's... strength, so... I'd say this would be a... What would be this check? Um, I... It's not a strength check, I think it's, it's a... Uh, if anything, it's a perception check. Yeah, perception, perception check, check, I'd say maybe. Not exactly a perception I'm sorry check. sorry for being a devil's advocate, but... It's fine, it's fine. No, still, it was a 19, so... I can. Do I roll a perception check or not to see him coming? Sure. I okay. allow that. If you fail this check, which I'm going to put Match up 20. as a fucking 18, you manage, so he does not gain advantage. Now, can you give me a dexterity check? Me? No, no. I am talk, still talking to John. Okay. John, give me a dexterity check to be like. I got a 19. 19. That is not enough. He does bring you to the wall. Because he has gotten a 22. And no, you cannot use your two shekels here. I don't even have two shekels. You have one from the beginning of the yeah. game. I allow each game, you have one this player. That would be nice to know, huh? I've told you this, like, ages ago. No, I've never been told this. Oh. So anyway, well, you should anyway. watch the show more. I... Uh... <laughs> hey, okay, so you're pinned against what? Grammy, you were supposed to keep everyone here. And? Crow left. He left of his own accord. Don't you understand? If we change the past, the future would change drastically. Came to change one thing. I just like put my hand on his shoulder. Understand something, boy. You've already changed the past enough as is as soon as you've met me. You really think him leaving to change his own fate will be any much different? Now is just let. Go. I start to get angry and I start to growl a bit. Can I actually okay. give him an intimidation check? Can you both give me intimidation checks? Highest wins. Sure. Oh! <laughs> uh huh. They have anything because you're just there being pinned to a wall and look like a wet rat. I got a 19. I got a 20. Fuck's sake. I'm you are just you. there. You're just like trying to thing. growl, but it sounds like a cat. Why am I calling it that you point? The joke. <laughs> this is how we get banned. <laughs> yeah. So 19 and the 20, huh? Wait, not 20 in your case? 
I surprise. I have a lot Wait. of good stats, but they're all mediocre considering that, you know, I'm still uh, just a fighter. Is yeah. Max still here? Yeah, I'm still here. I'm still here. Can you not hear me? I think he disconnected. I mean, he's still alive. What the fuck? Hello? Okay. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Okay, Perfect. Discord Hello. decided to have a stroke. The fuck? Yeah. Um, also, stop calling it a Jew shekel. Moving on. <laughs> You're the one that made the call. So, John got a 19, I got a nat 20. Nat 20, okay. what's your modifier? That's zero with a modifier. Okay. Are you actually going to use your inspiration? No, I'm not. Gonna... Okay. No, we're not fighting today, so... Where are you? I'm not... It's under... Uh... I hate you for this, but yeah, I'm not going to use it. I need to get a new fucking halberd, because it's pro... Oh wait, I still have my longsword. I forgot I had a... I even forgot I had a goddamn crossbow. So... What happens, Max? You're just like there, you are very, very intimidating, your presence alone is enough to make him like... Well, fuck. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Yeah, so... Uh... So yeah, uh, as this happens, uh, I'm basically make him say, "Okay, he's pissed." Nah, um, nah. Actually, just hold on. Let me just roll for something really quick. No, you. Yeah, nah, you're the one that's nah, scaring I him. If you're pissed or not. I Fuck want an intimidation. Fuck my. Yes, you want the intimidation, but that doesn't mean he's going to succeed on intelligence check to continue intimidating. Ah, oh, intelligence rolls, they're interesting and fun when they're used incorrectly and correctly. Roll for existential time. crisis. This is the thing. As, oh, he, uh, as he just gets pissed, he tosses you off just like, how about the fuck? Toss me. The fuck? Just like, I have you pinned against the wall and it's just like... Wait, do you actually toss me? You have to toss me! Toss! <laughs> You have to fucking toss me! Like, you know when you have somebody <laughs> against the wall, when you're pissed and you let them go and you just push them back against the wall more? Do you actually do this? Yes. Sure, give me a dex flat dexterity check, John, because you are in the stairway. Uh, I was against actually going. Wall, no. I was actually going to say a slight of hand check to get out of the way in time. That if is that... also a dexterity check, so not side of hand check. Side of hand check is to see if you are able to kind of like steal something or kind of move yeah. an object that you are being confined in, say handcuffs or something like around then your face. Would it be an athletics check? I'd say a flat dex. Flat dex. No. Finally, good roll. 18. 18. You just. Yeah, you kind of like. Managed to move out of the way as you were about to lose your footing, and uh, yeah, you manage. This was a weird encounter, but okay. Um, the doc just just kind of there, and you just hear him like, "Are you guys ready comparing dick very... sizes?" Or yeah, you yes. I knew that was gonna go there. If you wouldn't mind, I think we should head out at first light. Congratulations, Jackson Hayes, you managed to kill the fucking creature in the spot. But we are burning time. The longer we eat here, the more sick the Duke's son will become. And if what you've told me is true, then we must find another cure sooner or later. I look at the doctor. Doctor, can you get the carriage ready? I need to it will already up. be done in the morning. I've already instructed the stable boys to do so before we headed off to bed. Good. I need to go get the... I need to go get something fixed. I assume I've... you mean your hill bed that is currently sticking out of the first story window? Yep. What on earth possessed you to attempt to try that maneuver? Honestly? Stupidity? Yeah, we can go with stupid. Regardless, something is wrong with Celeste. What do you mean? I'm not quite sure. She won't stop rocking back and forth on the ground. As she says this, I just quickly go upstairs. 
I remind I'm you, you look like her, a right? wet fucking rat. Yes, you are still with her, and she's just like kind of talking this gibberish language. I guess I'm just patting her on the back. Give me a charisma check. Okay. Also, Max, as I get to the room, I just remove some of my armor. That way, I won't be as soggy. Sure, you are stripping naked. This is fine. I I I'm leave joking. my shirt and slacks on. You kind of like I taking off ten. your armor. All right. Ten. You're doing a really shit job at being like really supportive. <laughs> supportive, yeah. Well, I don't know what the fuck to do. She's speaking gibberish. I don't understand what she's saying. I'm just patting her back, like, oh, please, stop. please calm down, please help, help someone. Okay. I think so that, yeah. The, at this point, it's safe to say, he, Jackson is just leaning against the wall, trying to calm himself down. Give me a charisma check. Um, charisma. Charisma, charisma, charisma. That is a ten. Ten. You're not really doing a really great job at managing to calm yourself down. All these kind of thoughts go through your mind and whatnot, even the past events, and now the pain is finally getting to you as your adrenaline is wearing off. You can literally feel that maybe one of your ribs may have been bruised by this. Actually, Max, yes. constitution to see if I cough up blood. I'm not gonna Find be it. that much of a cunt. That's fine. Yeah, I won't say it's like an internal bleeding situation. That's worse. Much. I mean, no, considering the human anatomy, once the adrenaline goes down, you it is possible if you do internal bleeding. Yeah, I'm not gonna say that the thing managed to literally rupture yet at best. It's just bruised one of your ribs extremely badly, but it's not like internal bleeding level, you're fine. Okay. So, he's at this point, he's against the door, ripping his chest from the pain. Then. Okay. You do so. Celeste is just there rocking back and forth. She doesn't even make a eye contact with Grey Mane as he enters the room. Go to Celeste. Uh, before I go to Celeste, like tear off some of my armor okay. sogging at this point I go to her I speak to her and Celeste and ask her what, what's happening and if she's okay or whatever hmm. give me a persuasion check okay hmm. persuasion where the fuck I got a whopping 14 getting bad rolls today 14 all right you begin to kind of like try to ask her what's wrong and stuff like that and she just kind of looks up at you and you see that her eyes are different from these different. once beautiful sky blue they've now changed to this darkish purple i continue talking to her with celeste is she asking her Okay, cool. Ask her if uh, she's okay, if she needs anything. This when she kind of like ducks her head back like into her ties kind of situation where she's just rocking back and forth. She never seems to respond. Is she still I just, muttering? I just mm, hug she stopped her. at this point. You I hug, her. hug her. Okay. She kind of like is still rocking back and forth. Mm -hmm. She kind of uh, I, hug her. I, yes. I hug her and tell her everything's going to be okay. okay. Did uh, did Alexander hear her muttering or something? Mm, yes, prior, but not now. She stopped muttering. Cause maybe I could try to tell him what she was muttering or something. Maybe he'll you be able to translate it. You don't know the language. It just sounds like grumbling. Okay. And also, he checked. He doesn't know the language either. Mm. Oh, okay. I the doctor kind of leaves the room and sorry I'm stopping you. Uh, okay. The doctor kind of leaves and moves over to Jackson Hayes and he hands him a small bottle with a dark brownish liquid. What's this doc? Something to numb the pain. You did well. At the cost of something evil though. Everything comes at the cost, kid. 
You get used to it after a while. Drink up. Mm, he pops the cork and he drinks it without a second thought. It's not a potion, it's just honey whiskey. <laughs> That's even better. <laughs> he, just, he just chugs it down. Yeah. So yeah, meanwhile back in the room. Celeste is kind of just there, she leans into Greymane's touch a tiny bit, but again she doesn't seem to be that willing and or wanting. Mm. I look, I continue to ask her again, what's wrong? He never responds. Eventually she just passes out after like a few more minutes and she like actually stone out, passed out. Mm. I guess I just... She's, she's she on the bed or are we still on the floor? She's still on the floor, you can... I'll say you don't even throw you lift her and put her in bed. Yeah, I'll do that and I like right. cover her with a sheet. Okay, roll some content. Good dad. Um, alright. The doctor kind of like at this point, he's had a small chat and he's giving you the potion and he walks back into the room. At least she's falling asleep. More than mm. likely it may be a side effect of whatever took her memories. I can attempt some form of medication, but even then, not knowing the original spell source, it may make it worse. Um, can I walk into the room slightly? Sure. I don't think it could be the source of the Mistwalker, do you, Doc? It's doubtful, as you said. You dealt with it, meaning it was some form of spirit manifestation. These things are actually quite common occurrences, but they take different forms, be it in the forms of uh, crops dying, or even hmm, aberrations, poltergeists, and other things. A green beetle? The green beetle is a strange one, to say the least. I'm not quite sure if it's what I think it is. Regardless, we make haste in the morning. Pack your bags. Kind of like leaves yeah. and goes to his own room, and as you see, give me a perception check, Jackson. Okay. That's an eleven, Max. That's an eleven. All right. You kind of like look for a moment, and as he's closing the door, you have a quick peek at his neck. The purplish veins are reaching his ear. Whatever he has, it's spreading. I guess I'm missing. And that's where we're gonna call the night. And the next day. You guys have a long rest. Celeste wakes up before all of you and she's just like there looking around the room. At one point she accidentally locks herself in a closet. Like you guys go in to look for her and you just hear like banging on the wooden door i go open the door she falls i out. go open the cupboard she falls out I, of it landing on I, you as she kind of like grabs onto you to not fall flat on face uh okay i guess all over as well no no you're sturdy enough all right i, okay. I just look at her like what were you doing you child Kind of like looks at you very very perplexed and she just whispers something in Celeste. I got bored. So you go lock yourself in a closet? I didn't know how it worked. Come on, let's get you something to eat. She kind of like tugs slightly on her clothes as she's semi brooding a bit looking down on the ground ashamed of herself. Wrong child. So just like more than likely, give me an inside check. Sure. There goes my metal dice. Of course, because why would it stay on my goddamn desk? That's why you use a dice tray. I don't have a dice tray. Why one? Twenty-three. Oh no. Twenty-three. You think it's more than likely because you scolded her? I look at her. 
Do you want to come with me? Before we leave. You're cutting out like crazy, so I have no idea what you said. Oh, sorry. Do you want to come with me today before we leave? Am I still cutting? Mm, do you want to come with me before we leave, Femtech? That's fine. Uh, that's what Let he said. Just... Alright, I, I have, have to nowhere reduce. else to go, so I don't see why not. Alright. Do you want to come with us out of town? Okay. <laughs> come on. What she are kind you of in the looks mood for? at you, and now you also see that her eyes are back to blue from yesterday. Wait, aren't her eyes yellow? No, blue. No. The image you showed was yellow, but okay. Uh, the image I showed was Don Cannon. I said Fair she enough. kind of looks like her. I, I lied and got a custom paint job. I thought it was yellow, I'm sorry. It's okay. I mean, I feel like it would, blue would match more than yellow, to be honest. Mm, yeah. Not if she's a Celeste. Yeah, fair enough. Right, let's anyway, yellow it isn't. doesn't matter what the colors are. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. um, I just look at her in the, and then I just look at her like, are you hungry for anything? Mm -hmm. What do you, you want to eat? Kind of just like whispers, meat. No, not meat in the morning. That's too heavy for you. Bacon! It's kind of like pouts really heavily. Alright, hold on. I think I have an idea. Max, would I know if the donut stand is actually on? Oh, not at this time in the morning. Fuck. Okay, um... I look at the barmaid, I tell her. Do you have anything that's good for the morning? Well, we got plenty of stuff. Depends what you're looking for. You on the menu? Um, uh, something light will do. So, you want a menu? Uh, for the love of... Fine, I'll take the bloody menu. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. just load up the file. <laughs> Are you actually going to advertise your... <laughs> yeah, Shut the fuck up! I'm thinking. <laughs> Save the stuff promotion. Shame the stuff promotion. Shame the stuff promotion is shameless. Um, she kind of like hands you a menu and it has all the breakfast items. One moment, let me adjust the fucking screen. Uh, I just, I'll just fucking the, uh, load I... with. There we go. I can scroll through uh, it slowly. Okay. Now available on the I'll DMV. take two. I'll take two plates of bacon and eggs, and a pitcher of orange juice. All right. All right. Can I get you anything else? Uh, what the hell are orcish pancakes? Well, um, she kind of purses her lips a tiny bit as she's just kind of like pointing at the description. I, can you show me the description? <laughs> oh shit, fuck. <laughs> Again, it's different on stream. Uh, actually just, I'll, we'll just uh, take what I ordered. Chinese food, shut up! Okay. Uh, can Jackson be coming down to the... Yeah, at this point you kind of like look around and you see like they're ordering and stuff. Uh, Fergus, I'd say you do the same. The doctor's already down there and he's like already ordered like a coffee. I get pancakes. Uh, there uh... are no pancakes available at this current time. Fick! Uh... This is the medieval <laughs> ages, they don't really have a waffle iron. They just had an iron. They just had an <laughs> iron. I guess I'll get egg soaked, fried bread, or French toast for fuck's sakes. Um, get French people, toast. Some people call it French toast for some reason. <laughs> and I go for Chutnam's breakfast. Alright, that is a total of... Course, of let me just... Oh, shut the fuck up. Let me just work on the numbers. That's a total of... One and a half gold. I just tossed her the, the money, like, here you go, I'm paying for everyone. Alright, uh, would you like some drinks with that? Yeah, oh, orange juice would be fine. Orange juice, alright. He's, um, he's just like... Oh. I look at the barmaid, then you just might as well make it two pictures. Actually, make it three pictures. Alright, uh, that's gonna cost you two silver for the two ex... No, wait, four silver for the two extra pictures. Alright. Yeah, uh, just uh, toss her the money. Alright. Alright, so that's a total one. Okay. Let 
I'm actually having to take a note of this down because this actually does affect your credit in the sense of how the town perceives you. Alright. Okay. Alrighty then. You guys are left there alone. You see like some people are coming in for their breakfast, some people are ordering eggs, bacon, uh, toad on the hole. Mm. The regular. Um, I tell the rest we might not want to talk to here. We need to leave as soon as possible. Mm. I already asked the stable boy to get it at around uh, nine ish, so we have about. He kind of looks down and sees the shadows on the ground trying to calculate the time. I would say around two hours. Can we get over here faster? Mm, let's enjoy our food. It's not every day that we'll be able to enjoy such fine culinary skills, so... I just look down at the food. It's not there yet, you're looking down at the plate. Yeah, I'm just like... I really need to cook for you, don't I? <laughs> uh, uh, it kind of like mutters a tiny bit, like, what the fuck? He's a uh, chef. No, I'm just proficient in cooking. Doesn't mean that that is good. Okay, you cook hey, crystal meth, doesn't mean you can eat it. This <laughs> <laughs> uh, is how I get banned. Um, um, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm just like, Doc, remember what I said I had to do last night? We might not want to be in town when they discover. Well, we'll see. And as he says that, like, one of the townsfolk kind of like moves up to your table. And he kind of looks at Jackson Hayes a tiny bit. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Um, uh, good, good, sir. Uh, are you the one that dealt with the mi mist walker? Yeah, I guess you can say I dealt with the mist walker. Oh, oh, oh. Gr many thanks. Uh, I guess this belongs to you then. And he kind of like reaches uh, into his back pocket and pulls out this very large black pouch and he drops it on the table. Um, this was something the town wrangled up for whoever dealt with it. Uh, it's it's all there, don't worry, I ain't got no sticky fingers. There should um, be a total of uh, 50 gold. I just say under my tongue like the people of the hero. I grab the I grab this pouch, grab this boy's hand, just put the pouch back. Use it to better the town's defenses and stuff. I don't want any money. Are you sure, good sir? I'm pretty sure. Oh, oh, okay, he's like very sheepish. He's not understanding because normally people are fucking greedy in this universe. So, just like, okay, kind of like walks away and he goes to talk with some other people. At this point, the food arrives! Yay! <laughs> food! 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 food. Uh, Max, can yes. I be a bit of a cunt here? Sure, what do you wanna do? Can I roll a charisma check to see if I am judging the food or not when I see it? Sure, and you have advantage. <laughs> In my way. My bias is 14! I mean, it looks great. You think it looks great? Uh, I mean, yeah, you can't I... really complain about the chutney's breakfast. It's literally two kilograms of fresh pig ties paired with the newest brew of beer. <laughs> it's literally a mountain anything. of meat on a plate. I mean, after last night's events, he is kind of hungry, so he just starts. You also need to give me a Constitution saving throw. This is fine. Uh, uh, that's 17. 17. You are fine because you need the DC. The DC was 14. You kind of like eat it up. You kind of feel it like your stomach actually bloats a tiny bit. Where you're like, no. And your stomach retracts. <laughs> it's just like... You tighten no. your fucking belt around your stomach and be like, nah. It's just like... Nah, not today, bitch. Uh, if only that worked that way. Like, is this happening in front of us? Like, 
I just look at his like, can you eat your fucking food? You guys spend like a solid hour eating and chatting. The Celeste is there, she's eating. What did you buy for her? I uh, bought her a plate of bacon and eggs. She eats the bacon. She then starts reaching for your bacon. I grab her arm like, no, you still have your eggs but, to finish. But, but, bacon. Um, finish. at this point, do I s Wait, can you let me finish? Okay. Le I look Le at Celeste and just tell her, finish your eggs and you can order a second plate. Okay. She kind of like can starts gobbling it up. Can I see that she's finished her bacon? And she wants more. Yes. Can I give her a few slices of the, the ham? You can just give her a leg. You have like. <laughs> yeah, I just give her the whole You leg. have, and I quote, two kilograms of fresh pig ties. <laughs> yeah, I just grab a leg and just get, put it on her plate. Like, she just like smiles and claps her hand a tiny bit and then like gobbles it up. Much quicker than you would expect from a very skinny person. Where does she put it all? We will never know. She must have been hungry. Oh, no, really? We'll never know, huh? A few minutes later. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> Not what I was suggesting, but sure. What? Shut up. Um, Anime reference. Wait. No, I don't get the reference then. I, thought oh, you I was, get the reference. I thought you okay. were said doing a masturbation joke. Uh, moving on. Not even close. No, it's um, Rise of the Shield Hero. Never watched it. Uh, moving on. Yeah. Um, so, where are you gonna get uh, you're gonna get your helper fixed, right, Greymane? We don't have time for these things. We have half an hour to go. Yeah, Wait, sorry. Shut, shut. Here, I here, told here. you that you need to get your helper fixed, don't you? Uh, I can get it fixed myself. All I need is a uh, good staff for me to replace the bit that broke. So you say that fix. as your well. Bird part is stuck in the fucking first story window. <laughs> yeah, uh, actually, think of it. Where is your blade? Uh, it's the stuck. Camera just goes outside. There's a bird that's already made a nest on it. That's all fucking shit for that bird, eh? How the fuck are you gonna get it? Ladders. <laughs> It's a yep, thing. that's exactly that's exactly what I was gonna say. Sure, DM is definitely not trying to be helpful. Not at all. I have to toss bar, I look at the barmaid like I just yell at Leah like Barmaid, you got a ladder I can use. She kind of looks at you. Uh, oh. Um She's very perplexed. This isn't like the thing you'd normally request from a fucking tavern. Um, I just you got a barmaid. A barmaid, okay. Do you got a do you got a ladder I can use or not? I I think we have one in the back. Uh, I at this point, can I see it physically from uh, from where I'm sitting? I'd say you can. Like you kind of like crane your neck a tiny bit, and you can see the blade along with a part of the wood is just like sticking out. I look at the barmaid and kind of point upwards to it. It's wait, how can you see it if it's outside? He just cranes Windows. his neck. Windows, the fucking greatest invention. Okay, that's 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 literally for peeping toms. Impossible. Yeah. Shut up. No, man. I just point outside upwards. So I like... see. Okay, um, that's actually better. All right, uh, I'll see what I can muster up for you. Uh, I'll try and get it to ask one of our men to get it down for you, perhaps. And she kind of like moves away, goes into the kitchen, explains the situation. You hear like a loud laughter from the chefs, more than likely. And one of them, who is this like very large half orc, kind of walks out. You see, he has like an apron on covered in batter and other probably blood related juices. No. I am very yeah. concerned. Kind of like goes outside, he has to kind of like lower his head to go through, reaches up, pulls it out, goes back in. And he just kind of moves up to the table. Who is man that lost this? Why is he rushing? <laughs> why is he ru My first question, not even asking, I'm sorry, just why are you rushing? 
What's Russian? Existential crisis. <laughs> Fuck. I just point to Graeme like. Of course! Yeah. The other roles are always shit, but it's an existential crisis, so I succeed! You take 1d6 of existential crisis damage. Do you roll it or I roll Do it? You roll it. I'm going to god make it a goddamn 6, I'm gonna be pissed. It's a goddamn You're... 6. It's a 2, thank god. You take 2 points of existential crisis. Uh, keynote to anyone listening, Existential Crisis is for... Um, Metagaming. <laughs> fan. And for fans. Uh, so... Yeah, I just point that Graeme and like... Only his... Oh, yeah, that's mine. Kind of like tosses it to you, it lands in your plate that's empty. Somehow the plate doesn't crack. He just kind of like walks back into the kitchen, having to duck at one point as uh, like he goes into the next room. Can we just, hear him? I just look at everyone else. I just look at everyone like, well, that diet, well, that orc certainly sounded weird, eh? Um, Can we still hear him snickering from the kitchen? We hear him fucking bellowing in laughter. Okay. Why are you so small? You just hear from like the kitchen. Like, what do you mean small? Again, this guy's like eight foot tall. <laughs> everyone, oh, yeah. this is me in real life. <laughs> Just Fair seeing enough. everyone. Oh, look at all the smaller people. All uh, the small people. Max, mm. just so you know, Jackson just has his hand in his face, trying to hold. <laughs> Charisma <laughs> check. <laughs> it's a four. <laughs> you burst out laughing. Quite I, just, I just look at Jackson like, <laughs> you know, you can be a real asshole sometimes, you know that, right? Celeste also <laughs> kind of laughs, because she's just seeing Jackson Hayes laugh and it's fucking ludicrous as he's Wait. turning into the equivalent of a human tomato. And with tears I look at, I'm just my looking, head. I'll just look at Celeste like, do you even know why he's laughing? No, but he make funny face. Uh... Can you do another charisma? Charisma rolls even harder. Sure. I can't even. I can't even be angry at her because she's so goddamn innocent. I got a tree, Max. You are at this point hyperventilating. You are pulling a root and about to vomit. Hey. <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong. <laughs> Give me a Constitution check. By the way, have we eaten everything? I'd say you have at this point, yes. Okay, uh, then we get up. Uh, I tell Celeste to come with me. Wait, I'm still laughing like, like shit. You're just there, wailing away. The doctor's just there, looking perplexed as fuck as he's itching at his neck. I and... look at the doctor before we leave. Mm -hmm. Oi, Doc, can you do me a favor and make sure he doesn't choke on his own laughter? I'll before attempt I to. Make, before I choke the bastard out. Whatever you're into, it's uh, Wait. 2019. I'm not king shaming. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> as he says that, can I do another Christmas yes, world or something? <laughs> it's a seven. <laughs> you just laugh even harder. I'm gonna do a quick roll, really. Really quick here. For what? Yep, it worked. Okay, um, I just take out the, this, the light crossbow I have and I shoot it in front of the at the table, in front of Hayes. You sure to... you want to do this? You're in a tavern. I got it with, with an eight-foot orc. Would you like to roll an intelligence check to match? Okay, for, for I'll roll the check to see if it's a good idea or not. Yeah, I don't think it's a good idea to do so. You look in the moment of the kitchen as you just see the ogre wielding uh, what would be the equivalent of a meat mallet but is actually a warhammer. <laughs> and you're like, nope, nope, no. <laughs> Fucking putting away your weapon like, nope. He literally is taking out his crossbow. Looks, no, not today. <laughs> not today. 
Yeah, you think this is a horrible fucking idea, as you just, <laughs> like, no! By the way, 18 was just the base road. It was a filthy 20 if I added the modifier. Man, yeah, you still think it's a fucking this? stupid idea! <laughs> Do I see what he just did? No, you're laughing too hard, I'm not gonna even let you. You're just, like, there slamming <laughs> your fist on the table, red as a fucking tomato, dying internally. And at this point, the doctor just kind of, like, scooches by you. Whenever you're done having your fit, I recommend we go. He's here. And he points outside and you see your carriage awaits. I, I said it was a blacksmith. We can go whilst we're on the way and or more than likely when we reach the Duke's castle, we can instantly just go to the royal blacksmith. Ah, uh, fair enough. Um, as he, as he's saying this, Jackson's face is just completely serious. Like, let him go talk. To you. For fuck's sake, fine. Go run to your fucking blacksmith. You have 15 minutes. That should be enough. I tell Celeste to get a move on. Run! She's she just like run. there, like slowly stealing another piece of Jackson Hayes' meal. She's gonna roll a set of hand check. Give me an insight check. Jackson. Be With disadvantage. It's just like, I see her taking in a... Like, sure, I'll see you in Stalao, it's fine. This gonna like, takes another fucking time, she's running with it, holding it in two hands. The most wholesome of characters, are only available on the filter 20. Um, yep. Um, so it's just me and the doctor now. Yeah, Wait, Fergus, at Fergus? this point... Fergus, what are you doing? You're very quiet. Have you merged into the shadows and became part of this building? Just extremely tired. Welcome to my everyday life. Deal with it. Um, <laughs> that sounds very uh, familiar to something, Max. Hmm. 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 Already, what are you referring to? We'll talk about this off stream. Moving on. Um, <laughs> moving on. So, uh, we go to the blacksmith as fast as we could. I find the blacksmith. What is the blacksmith, really quick? The blacksmith is a dwarven woman. Ah, uh, hello there. Wait, hello there. What are you gonna do for you? Wait. Hello. Yeah. Dwarf. Dwarf. Yes. Dwarf. Yes. Woman. Yes. Hello there. I will no. kick you from this call. <laughs> Welcome to my shop. Get the fuck out. That's a gnome, and you know it. That's, That's a gnome, and you know it. That's a gnome. That's a gnome. Stop. <laughs> are you short shaming? No, she's a dwarf. She's a dwarf. No, Dwarves do not sound like that, I'm sorry. Still, mine does, she's special! No, you have Yours. Down Syndrome, moving on. <laughs> this is how Comedy I get relief banned. Is special. Comedy Relief is a gnome, not a dwarf. Exactly. Hmm. No, she's not, she's a dwarf. No, she's, she's a gnome. God fucking damn it, I she's created pink, her, she's... She's a pink-haired, pigtailed gnome. Moving on! Anyways, Fine. we're losing time because of this. Yeah. yeah what can I do for Assholes. you? Dick. Um... Well, my halberd broke. Do you think you have a pole or a shaft that I can use to change it? She snickers slightly at the word shaft. Um, uh, I think <laughs> I got something. Is You want me to repair it on a method? Uh, I, you, you can just give me the shaft, I can fix it myself. <laughs> Like, she actually does that sound. Okay, whatever you're into. Uh, she kind of, like, goes into the back and she pulls oh, out, like, I... a br the equivalent of, like, the broomstick shaft thing. And uh, puts it under the... Oh, cost, yeah, four copper. Uh, can I... Is so there, like... The fuck is can I do an away? investigation check to, like, inspect the quality of the wood? Sure. It's wood. It, I got a filthy 20. It's a dirty 20, sorry. Like, is it good quality wood, is what I'm it's saying. It's generic wood. You got something a bit, um, better? Uh, sure, if you can fork out the coin for it. I can just give you a metal rod. No. Metal rod? Wouldn't that make my halberd too heavy? Well, depends. If you're fucking strong enough and not a fucking pansy. No, strength isn't an issue. Wait, no, you can't actually. You don't have high enough yeah. dex. You need 16 dex minimum. Oh. Dex, I have, but I have 14. Yeah, I can see your stats, I remember. Um, yeah. Wait, 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 what's this? 
Really? See, he has six. No, that's never mind. Nothing. Okay. Ah, uh, well, if you want something a bit sturdier, I can. <laughs> I can give you a wood, uh, a wooden pole with a metal core. Shouldn't be too heavy. Right. No, that'll do just fine. Um, and also, I just look at Celeste. Will I be able to figure out what she can do? I mean, so oh. far you've seen her poke shit and spin a ham on a fork. So, what no. Like, I'm gonna have to be teaching her how to handle a sword. Or What's a his sword? At um, this point, she just has, like, a very large pig bone in her hand, which is kind of like playing with. I'll teach you later. Um, you got any leather armor and a simple short sword? Well, or leather armor, much? we ain't got much. Most of them are bought daily by the local farm, by the local farmers as well as the horrors. Uh, short bow, you said? Short sword. Short sword. Ah, fuck. She kind of like looks around a tiny bit. I think I got something in the back. It kind of like waddles away and you hear like a bunch of clunking. Does it have either to be pristine? Either a short sword, a rapier, or a long sword. Okay. Anything that's good enough to swing. Okay. Oh, yeah. She kind of like so you're comes You're really gonna back. give Celeste a long sword. Sorry, Mother okay. Gaming, but... I'm gonna spend time teaching her. Just out of nowhere, she becomes Cloud. Uh, she exactly kind of comes point. back with a rapier. It doesn't look that great. It's a tiny bit rusty, but it's sharp. Yeah. Well, this is all I got in stock. I mean, I can custom make you one, but it's gonna take me a few days. No, I don't have the time. I need to leave soon, anyways. I'll take the rapier. All right. Any, uh, is your armor, chain meal, anything? <sighs> armor. Straight out, I'm sorry. I mean, the most I can offer you are these bracers. And she kind of like shows off some leather bracers. I guess I'll have to do. I'll take the bracers and the rapier. Along okay. with the chaps. She kind of snickers a little chuffed again. I look, I know it's funny, but come on. Oh, shut up. Now, well, this is what I get during the day to keep me going. Kind of like okay. begins calculating them. This is me actually calculating them. Um, these nine gold bracers. That's a total of four gold and five silver. Okay, good for the money. All right, that is up. Okay, you do so. Uh, um, Max, ten yes. pieces of silver is one piece of gold. Mm, Hundred silver is one okay. gold. Okay. Okay. Alright then. Uh, do you require anything else? I'll see what I can get you. At this uh, point, the rest of you, sir, I'm gonna stop you. At this point, the okay. rest of you, did you get on the caravan? Um, I wanted to You wanted to talk with the doctor. doctor. Okay. I'll finish off John Cena. At this point, outside, the carriage has actually pulled up. Because you've spent yeah. this large amount of time, like, talking, so it's kind of, like, moved along. What we are yeah. gonna do with the scene with the doctor... Fergus, I guess at this point you kind of like go and walk around the bar, maybe. Okay. All right. You you find a random pink-haired gnome. <gasps> For the love of fuck. And you are going Hello. to remain quiet. <laughs> Hello there. I will shank you in the dick. What's yeah, you know what you dick. But yourself. Yeah. Be happy. Right. I included her in the campaign. Moving on. Do you wanna? Have I will shank you. you. Not nice. Root. Get out. Root, you do realize that she's. Moving on. <laughs> did you what did we learn? Motherfucker! <laughs> what did we learn? <laughs> Don't Can fuck with the DM. Be careful, careful or else end up removing your privileges. Oh, you know how that feels, huh, John? Yes! How does it feel to be white? Moving on. Um. Uh, anyways. <laughs> Doctor scene. Uh, uh, yeah. So, Doc, mm, yes. there's on your neck. What about it's spreading, it? isn't it? No, this is none of your concern, and he kind of just swigs his coffee. It is my concern. Jackson Hayes, I don't know what you think you know. But I can assure you that whatever this is, I will find a cure for it. Can you give me an insight check? Sure. That's an 18. What the fuck is playing? 
wait, bless my Spotify is deciding to play some really weird shit. Okay. Alright. So 14, Otley? 18. You're realizing he's not as jovial as he used to be. Something jovial? Jovial, being so joyous. Like when you first met him, he was very kind, very like up and coming, he was very helpful, but now he seems to be reserved, restricted. More of the doctor that we know. Exactly. Mm. Well, Doc, whatever that thing you on your neck is, I don't think you'll ever find a cure for it. One well, could hope so. We'll find out soon enough. I'll just wigs the rest of his coffee and then puts it down. Anything else? Just be careful. Aren't I always? Hmm. Knowing you from the future, that's debatable. We'll see about that. Anyway, time's wasting. Anything else you want to discuss, or shall we go on? Um. Yeah. About Grimmin. You well, realize the same things I realized. That is a lacanthrope. Mm, yeah, it was quite evident. He's denying it, isn't he? Not exactly denying it. Most people, when they are in the country, they aren't aware of it until eventually they hurt the ones they love. Um, do you have anything that the free rages we can stop them? Well, yes, actually, I have a silver dagger square to the heart. Can we use instead of a heart into a, a shoulder or something to stop them? If you want to stop the Lacontropy itself, you'd have to kill the werewolf that afflicted him. Well, can actually tell if it's just a werewolf. That's my point. This would have had to be nicked in the ass much, much prior to this. The most I can offer are silver chains. And if he does try to cha change whilst being burdened by them, it is, um, let's just say, it's uh, 1019, but even I don't, I want to kink shame the burning fetish. So it's gonna hurt What's a fetish? No, fetish is where it thinks since fucking medieval ages, fuck off. Yes, yeah, so what would be called a fetish? It's... Let's Anyways, it doesn't matter. Um... Well, it's better to get him hurt than having him hurt other people. It'll only be a matter of time until he changes, I know that for a fact. The moon will be full again soon enough. If he is a strong blood, he will be able to change during that time whether he likes it or not. If he is a third generation, he may be able to control it. We'll see. By the moon, by the Wait, moon, Max. we need to attack him down. Sorry, I'm cutting in, but does the doctor know how I became a lycanthrope? No, he just okay. instantly could tell because lycanthropes have a certain tell. Alright, but he doesn't know how I became a lycanthrope? No. Okay. He assumes it's from a werewolf bite or something. Okay. Um, yeah, next full moon, we restrain him. If I'm not mistaken, the next full moon is within the next four days, so we should have enough time to get to the capital and then work from there. Yeah. Yeah, so we proceed to go to the... You to guys the clamber caravan. onto the caravan. Mm. Fergus, you finish your conversation with the pink-haired bitch. Hey. You end up you end up exchanging telepathic numbers. Okay, listen here, you piece of shit. Now listen here, you fucking cunt. I will drop an anvil on you. I will summon. Hellfire an anvil appears on top ashes. of her head, crushing her instantly in front of you as her it's bloody nice body and sinew coat Fergus. <laughs> but, but she's immortal. <laughs> Not in oh, this universe! I mean, 
Oh, come on! Okay, no, no, she's immortal, but in agonizing pain, as an anvil is continuously... Yeah, she just comes from the anvil. Ew, piece of... It's not nice to do that to people! Okay, you clamber onto the fucking caravan. Jesus fucking Christ, I need a drink. <laughs> you finally buy yourself the racers and shit, and you guys pull up. The doctor, Jackson Hayes, front. Yep. Mm. Right. You guys are making your way to the Duke's castle as we speak. It will be a total of a day's journey. Uh, while this is happening, like, I teach Celeste how to handle the rapier. She kind of just ends up poking the wood a lot. Well, she doesn't really have anything else to poke, so... She ends up poking your tie with it. Like, again, the rapier point. itself isn't exactly ah. sharp on the end. But it's pointy, yeah. It's just, isn't it a piercing weapon, mostly? It can be used as a finesse weapon. This one has, like, the training ball on the end, which can be removed. Okay, I make sure that the ball is attached. Alright, that's where we're going to be calling today's session. Alright, yeah. to all the viewers, I hope you enjoyed today's session. I'll be on for a bit longer. If anyone has any questions, please feel free to ask them. Um, if you want to get the file of the menu, it's currently available on the DMG under the same name as my Twitch name. Shameless uh, self promotion. Shut the fuck up. Or the Patreon. <laughs> or the Patreon, which is also an option, but knowing you cheapskates, that's never gonna happen. Um, <laughs> oh, bookmark. <Hey>. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm not, not wrong. wrong. All right. Take care, everyone. Have a very nice and good night. Bye-bye.